Hey guys, this is Neil here from Indep Tech. So welcome to the weekly automation part four, in which I'm going to show you how you can trigger Alexa routines with the help of the temperature and the humidity sensor. I had already made a video in which we triggered the temperature and the humidity sensor through the IFTTT platform and also the Samsung SmartThings app. But it was not possible to directly trigger the Alexa routine as Alexa only support contact sensors like the door or the window sensor and also the motion sensor. So today in this video, I'm going to show you a way in which you don't require a Samsung SmartThings hub. And also we are not going to talk about the IFTTT platform as you all guys know that it's a paid platform and to trigger this through the IFTTT, there's a separate subscription for the e billing app, which is $10 a year apart from the subscription of the IFTTT platform. So let's get started. So guys, in my previous video, I already showed you how you can create a device handler inside the Samsung SmartThings application. So today we are going to trigger the Alexa routines using that device handler. So you have to follow the same steps which I showed you in that video. So you can just click on the I button and check that video out. And after following that process, you can come back to this video and follow the steps which I show you here. So guys, as I said, we had created a device handler. So we are not going to create another device handler, but we are going to add new devices to that device handler. So just go ahead and open your browser. So just search for accounts.smartthings.com and just sign in. So guys, as you can see my device handler, so we had already created, so we are not going to create one more. So just go ahead to my devices. Click on new device name. So I'm going to use it for the temperature and the humidity sensor. So I'll just type EMP trigger network ID just put dash type as I said in my previous video stimulated Alexa switch location my home create. Temp trigger from the smart thing skill and you can control it by saying turn off temp so as you can see as my smart things account was linked with alexa it identified the new device and notified us so guys now the new device has been created so now you need to go ahead and open the samsung smart things app so today we are going to control my air condition which is linked with the IR blaster and the partnered application for the IR blaster is the smart life app. So guys the temperature and the humidity sensor which I have is from the Sonoff and the partnered application is the EVLink app. So I had already integrated the EVLink app with the Samsung SmartThings account. So as you can see the door sensor has been synced and also the temperature sensor. And also here I don't have a Samsung SmartThings hub. This is purely based on the application. So I won't be able to integrate the motion sensor and the smart button here. But as you all guys know, Alexa is able to trigger Alexa routines with the help of the motion sensor. But the smart switch is a problem. So I'm working on it. How you can trigger Alexa routines with the help of the smart switch without any Samsung SmartThings hub and also without the IFTTT platform. So guys, first you need to create an automation inside the Samsung SmartThings app. So click on automation. Click on the plus icon, add automation if. So I want that if my temperature increases by 32 degrees, my air conditioning should switch on. So device status, just temperature, temperature equal or above, I'll go for 32, done. Then control device. Temperature trigger next turn on done save. So guys now the automation has been created here. So we need to go ahead and open the Alexa app more routines. Click on the plus icon when this happens smart home. So just refresh the page so as you can see the temperature trigger has been synced so we can trigger the alexa routines with the help of the virtual switch by creating a new device inside the samsung smartthings account so open means on so click on next so we had created an automation that when the temperature increases by 33 degrees my contact sensor will switch on or open so add actions 
customize i want alexa to tell me the studio temperature so i'll just go ahead and say what's my choose device needs echo show so now we are going to switch on the ac click on the plus icon smart home all devices air conditioning power on set temperature let's say 33 degrees save so guys now let us go ahead and see if this automation works so we'll just go ahead and open the samsung smart things app to check the temperature So right now it's 29.4 degrees. So I'll just place the sensor above the candle. Twenty-nine point four degrees. Thirty-three point six. The studio it, temperature is thirty-three point six degrees. And it switched on my AC also. So guys, one more thing which I just forgot to mention here that the temperature trigger which we created. So if the temperature goes above 33 degrees, and as we created an automation that it should switch on or open the temperature trigger. So once the temperature trigger is open, but if you don't create an automation in which if the temperature decreases by a certain degree, then the temperature trigger should close or switch off. Then the state of the temperature trigger would remain open or. on so the next time if the temperature goes above 33 degrees alexa won't trigger the routine because the sensor is open so here what you need to do is if you don't create a automation when the temperature decreases then go ahead and click on automation click on the plus icon add automation if device status temperature trigger is on stays for how long customize just go ahead and Give a delay of five seconds. Done. Then, control device temperature trigger off. So, guys, now what will happen is, as I said, if you don't create a automation when the temperature goes below a certain degree, then this state would remain on. Then this automation would automatically close or switch off the temperature trigger. So guys, as you saw, the automation worked. So now the only sensor which I'm not able to trigger the Alexa routine without the help of a hub or the IFTTT platform is the smart switch. I'm working on it that maybe I'll be able to trigger the Alexa routine without the help of the IFTTT and also the Smart Things hub. And also I'll be uploading a video soon if I found a way to trigger the Alexa with the help of the smart button. So that's it for today guys I hope you like this video I'll be making more home automation videos just like this so don't forget to hit the like button if you're new please subscribe also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time I upload a video see you in the next video bye bye